Now we looked at how to configure the device as a standalone device, be able to look at the status of the of the phone and configure doing some configuration either through the keypad or through the web GUI. Now we want to start acting as if it's a peer-to-peer -peer network. Um, we want to be able to communicate with another device. Just like in a peer-to-peer -peer network, um, simple file sharing is convenient. Not a lot of power, not a lot of control, um, not a lot of say what you can do or not do. It's just kind of just a direct connection. And then be able to share files. The same thing is with these phones. You can do a direct connection between phones and make that communication from there. To do that, we can click the menu button right on the phone, and we can arrow down to direct IP call. When I hit the select button, I just type in the IP address of the phone that I want to communicate with. I have another phone here, which, I, which is IP address is 172, and then using the asterisk again as the dot, 16 dot one, sorry, hit the more button and then backspace, 207.101 is the IP address I want to go to. Click more again. And as soon as I click OK, the selection button's not going to do anything. I need to click OK. So 172.16.207.1. It's now calling the other phone, and the other phone starts ringing. And click End Call to end the call, or I could pick up the receiver and put it back down. And when I did call that way, I left the receiver down, and it automatically goes to speakerphone. You do need to have the receiver down, though, in order to get to the menu. Go to direct IP call, type in the IP address, 172.16.207.101. And as soon as you click OK, you can pick up the phone, and then your handset handsets can be what you'd be talking with. You can always tell what you're using by the upper right-hand corner. It shows that the handset's being used. If I click the speaker button on the bottom, it's switching back to speaker. To hang up, you can just hang up or you can hit and call. Another way of being able to um, do the peer-to-peer -peer thing is being able to do it um, a little bit easier um, and a little bit quicker instead of having to type the whole IP address. And that's using the quick IP mode. That is something that we do need to configure on the phone itself to enable that. So under settings, and then call features for the phone that I'm working with, it's going to say use the quick IP call mode. Um, on the right-hand side it says when set to yes, users can dial an IP address under the same LAN VPN segment by entering just the last octet. That's why it's really important that the first three octets are the same. It's not just that they're on the same network because everything on a 10.0.0.0 network would be the same network. It has to be in the same octet. So the first three octets have to be the same. So with everybody being in the classroom of 172.16.207, this should work really well. So I want to enable this first of all. So I'm going to use the quick IP mode call. And then I'm going to save and apply that. And now when I make the call, I don't have to, first of all, go to the menu and go to direct IP calling. All I I'll have to do is just pick up the receiver as if I'm making a regular call or hitting the speaker phone to make a regular call. I do have to hit pound first and then the last octet. So if I'm dialing 172.16.207.101, I'd hit pound 101 and then either wait for it to time out and then dial automatically or to send it right away, you can use the send button or the pound button in the lower right hand side. So either send or pound will actually initiate that call. And that's how you can do basically a peer to peer network of direct IP communication. You can use the direct IP under the menu, or you can use the quick IP mode um, setting and be able to dial it like a regular phone number, just precede it with a pound and then using send or pound after to dial it. Being peer-to-peer, -peer, it's like peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, very little security, um, not any other features. There's no other services available to you. Um, it's just a straight connection. You can't talk to the person, um, but there's a lot of things that you can't do. You can't forward calls. There's no conferencing of calls. Um, when you do put somebody on hold, um, there's no hold music because it's just a very, very simple peer-to-peer. And that's where we're going to see more of those features um, next time as we get into the client-server environment. 
just like a client server environment in our data networks or our file server networks, once a client logs into a server, the server just provides many, many more functions and features and capabilities. Um, it does require more setup and configuration, um, and we'll see how that all interacts next time.